when we were originally scoping out our uh, problem of of practice really that we are we're looking at improving for our network one of the biggest things that we that we were looking at uh, through this project was a soft reset of our network to shift from a focus on specific tools to a focus on mindsets and, and process in the continuous improvement process and and really more intentionally centering on equity throughout the continuous improvement process so we were really looking for some uh, facilitation techniques and some protocols in different areas in which we could really embed equity into how we approach our continuous improvement work with our partners. And additionally, we were also considering a, a subset of our network uh, coming together in a learning cohort to focus on one specific area of college access and really looking at some thought partnership and support around protocols and just facilitation techniques that we could utilize within our network as we were really looking at shifting of how we approach our work and, and really looking at the tools and the resources that we were providing to our network in a way that really helped them do their work, but uh, didn't prescribe specific tools or solutions, but in a way that uh, helped them find the tools and, and resources that they already had that, that really fit into the continuous improvement process. And so really it was looking at that soft reset of our network, as well as how we facilitate that process with our partners and more intentionally centering on equity throughout our continuous improvement uh, processes. And the level of involvement that we had with our team throughout that entire process and the timeliness of the process, uh, to be honest, I, I think most of the, the delays in any of the process were on our team's end as we had some staff shifts, uh, but Catalyst Ed was always really great with their timeliness and following up uh, to make sure that that we stayed on track in terms of the timeline that we had had set out with them. Uh, and so just the, the level of involvement was incredible from start to finish. The biggest change that we've seen internally is really more of a centering on equity in all of our internal team meetings, uh, whether it's in terms of our scholarship program that we manage through Dallas County Promise and how that applies to students and families, or whether it's in our uh, team meetings around our uh, NSI and our continuous improvement support for our partner school districts and how we really uh, facilitate our sessions and our convenings to center on equity and to push our partners to to center on equity and keep uh, students and, and their families at the center of that process. I would say that's been one of the biggest changes that we've seen internally is just really equity staying at the forefront of all of our discussions and our team decisions. Uh, the other thing that we've really seen as we've done that kind of soft reset and launch of our network for this year is we've seen really great feedback from our partner school districts, particularly uh, district and school leadership around our shift in, in terms of uh, to, or our shift in terms of processes and mindsets over tools and really recognizing that our partners may already have tools that meet their continuous improvement documentation needs and really are just looking for support around collaboration and, and effective practices. And so our partners have really appreciated the shift in our network and how we've approached that launching our convenings this year. And that's been really great to see all of that, that feedback from our partners and us knowing that we're providing support that is really adding value to our partner school districts and uh, not just being seen as something that that they're doing to be part of the network. I would say that Catalyst Ed really facilitated a, a seamless process to help our team find a meaningful consultancy, and it really improved how we approached equity-centered continuous improvement, not only internally as a team, but also with our network. And without the Catalyst Ed team, we really would not have had any idea of where to start and would have had just a much more challenging time and, and really more time consuming process of even figuring out where to begin in our search for support on how to how to improve our network. So it was really a, a blessing that that our team loved in terms of having that support from Catalyst Ed.